in this video we're gonna do an example about in this video we're gonna do an example about how to control the length of a replication how to end the run uh, depend on the counter in the system we're gonna consider an example of a bank that open from 8 to 5 but if the bank closes at 5 if there are people remaining in the system like inside the bank we are obliged we have to service the people all the way to the end but at five we refuse we reject to accept the new people but the people already inside the system we have to service them before i start um, please subscribe to my channel and if you want to access more videos available on my channel related to arena or facility planning the link the links are available in the box below Okay, so as I said, in this example, we use a counter's number of people in the bank, number in bank, to represent the number of people. So whenever a person comes, we increment, increase the counter by one, and whenever a person leaves the system, we decrease by one. As well as we use a other variable called end of the run, and it's equal to one when the now, uh, which is the current uh, running time, uh, current replication time or running time is greater than the length of day which is eight hours in our example as well as the number of people as a back is equal to zero okay is it equal to one if it is equal to one we stop the system so let's show you how i've done how we've done the work so at we have a person will arrive on average every three minutes if uh, the entity create time when the entity is created is above greater than the length of the day okay and we uh, send the item to dispose if it is greater than the length of the day we send it to dispose length of the day is 510 minutes which is eight hours and a half it's 510 minutes okay so i repeat if the entity create time is greater than the length of the day we send it to dispose if not we record the value we increment the number of in the bank by one and we do a process and there is a percentage 85 percent we need another process or else so once we've done with processing in the system either one service or two services successfully the person has to leave so we decrease the number in bank by one and then we record here if that current now is greater than the length of the day and number encounter which is the number of people in bank is equal to zero so if both applicable this value will be equal to one which is true so end of the run be equal to one otherwise end of the run is always equal to zero so number encounter not in bank and number encounter end of the run this is the number of people in the bank as the number of people uh, this is the number of people uh, if it is the, uh, if it is applicable yes or no so uh, so this is the number of people in the queue and this is uh, the people in the queue okay so uh, we have the counter here and the counter is uh, which is an element it is over here so end of the run limit is maximum number equal to one so if it is one or zero replicate count user specified which is we have to input those values and end of the run okay so when we run the program so i'm gonna slow it down so now we have six people in the bank okay we have seven people in the bank eight people in the bank i'm gonna make it a little bit faster so when the time of the day okay so although the time of the day is 510 minutes with eight hours and a half we run the system 12 hours 12 minutes on top of the after 5 pm in order to finish all the people in the system okay as i said if you want to access more videos please check the link available in the box below